You know, this is oh. starting to feel like chili pepper weather. Mmm, Paimon's hungry for some fresh and fiery spicy foods that let your taste buds have a blast. And if there's one dish that fits the bill, it's black back perch stew. Come on, let's pay a visit to one man restaurant. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Zero Time. It's been a while, but we're finally back in Genshin Impact. It has been a while for you guys, but it's been a while for us. We took a long break after that whole fishing incident. Anyway, now that we're back, we can finally continue our adventures. Not the arcane, but different ones. We have a plan. I guess first we could do that new quest. How do I use this game? Uh, it was this one, right? Yeah, let's go do this. Where is it? Uh, navigate. About 3,000 meters that way. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, oh. Okay, we were like, my map didn't crash, did it? Uh, all the way in leeway. Of course. Of course. The perfect plan. Anyway, what are this events all about? After this, if we have enough time, we're gonna be going straight to, uh, the second part of the house quest, cause we want houses. Oh yes, we want houses. Oh, wait. Was this stuff here before? I know it's been a while, but I think I recognize something like this. What's going on here? Who's all these knickknacks? Uh, what do you got? I'll take some of your stuff. You have, I need wheat and rice mostly. Well, actually I don't need wheat. I need more rice than wheat. Because a lot of dishes I've been getting that need a lot of rice. And, oh, I, was like, I didn't buy it. What the hell? Uh, we don't really need anything else. We need to limit our spending because uh, we get a little crazy. Now, where are we going? It appears we're going this way. Also, we need to change our party at some point. I think I'll do that later. <gasps> Stop looking here! Hey, guess who's here? Sorry to bother you. Oh, no way! It's the Traveler and Paimon! Hey! Ah, oh, Traveler, welcome. Good to see you. I have a name, I assholes. We want some black back perch stew. All right. Black back perch stew it is. Make yourselves at home. It'll be right out for you in just a moment. Black back? I thought it was blood back. I mean... I was just whatever. thinking about you guys, and now you're here. It feels like you heard my call and came running. <laughs> oh, that's so it. You mean you were about to come looking for us? Uh-huh. There's something I want to discuss with you guys. Did you happen to see how the city looked on the way over here? Everyone's getting ready for the Moon Chase Festival. Right? I was like, what's with all the freaking banners and stuff? It's cute. Moon Chase Festival? Is that another one of Liyue's ancient traditions? And that's right. Moon Chase is a big festival where we celebrate the arrival of the fall by moonlight. Oh. The old folks say that thousands of years ago, this was the time of the year when the Adepti would seek the way. So you celebrate fall coming. That's cute. But it's completely different nowadays. We eat our favorite foods, oh, that's bright. spend time with friends and relatives, enjoy the moon and the flowers. So much easier. Basically, we just do all the things that people like doing and don't take a whole lot of effort. It almost sounds like Thanksgiving. Sounds like Paimon's kind of festival. <laughs> with your great taste in food, Moon Chase Festival is sure to be to your liking. Paimon has taste? Right? Hey, if you got a problem with Paimon's taste, just spit it out. <laughs> I did, bitch. Um, so are you guys free these days? I'm taking part in this year's Masterful Chefs. If possible, I'd like you to be my culinary consultants. Again? That's right. Getting some suggestions from friends will broaden your horizons. But I'm not good on feedback. Masterful Chefs, huh? So is that like a competition? All <laughs> right, yeah. I guess you probably haven't heard about it before. No. Nah. Every year, Moon Chase Festival has a different theme, usually picked by the Qixing. This year's theme is Feast of the Bounteous Land, so the Qixing decided to organize a cooking competition. You say every year, but this is the first year this town existed in our timeline. <laughs> Feast of the Bounteous Land. Hmm. Pretty much 
which sums up what Leo is all about. Great thing. I totally agree. I heard it was Mingguang that came up with it. She's so amazing and so full of mystery. So, the hell do you want me to do about this? Well, I want to take part in the competition. But coming up with new dishes is hard work. By the time you finally thought of something, cooked it, taste tested it, it can be hard to judge whether you're really into something or not. I don't have those issues, but then again, I'm not really a cook, so eh. So, I was thinking, I could get the two of you to help by gathering everyone's thoughts on what makes a great dish. I really want to think outside the box this time, and to do that, I'm going to need lots of different ideas from lots of different people. I want to talk to people. This will be a piece of cake. We've got friends from all over the map, haven't we? Ugh, oh, fine. I guess I can't help but be popular. <laughs> You sound pretty confident. Well, you know, not to brag or anything. But first things first, let's have a delicious one-man meal. After <laughs> that, we can go around to all of our friends in Leo and get their ideas one by one. Okay, okay. great. Also, Goba should be back soon, so we can all go together. Here's your black back perch stew, folks. Oh, yummy. Mm, Wait, why is there only one bowl? So good. Thank you. <laughs> it's my pleasure. No. no, no. Mm, that was so delicious. Theory confirmed. This is definitely chili pepper weather. I want a chili pepper soup. That sounds Shonen awesome. Can be a bit of a handful, so please look out for her while you're out and about. Come on, Dad. Why would you say that? That's your diet. Because I know you all too well, my dear. That's why. You mustn't be quite so reckless when you're out in the wild, you understand? <laughs> I honestly didn't realize that was her dad. Well to be a little more cautious, like our traveler friend. I am the exact opposite of cautious, actually. Don't worry, we're all friends here. Let's all look out for each other. Oh, and Guoma's back. Rolly pulling around as usual. All right, let's pack up and head out. Okay. Nice. And we started the clear. So we just take part in it, or whoop. what, Dad? Don't freaking look at me like that. I'll do what I want. <laughs> like Dad. <laughs> okay. Uh, where are we going? Are we just talking to freaking people? That sounds boring. All right. Um, as long as that. Oh, wait. Huh. I guess I'm only talking to the whoop mark people. It's gonna have dialogue for me, right? Nope. The Mariah's Crystal food is only getting better. But my brother is still weak as ever. I've I'm sorry, the birds are chirping. I can't focus and read right now, so I'm just gonna bye. I'll try to cut out as much chirping as possible, but it's really annoying. It's sad because we got rid of the males because they wouldn't stop. You know, crowing, and now the females won't stop chirping because the males are gone or something. I don't know what's going on. Who am I? Oh, oh, wait, way over there? I don't want to walk that far. All right, first things first. I'm gonna say one of one and say we're gonna make a wish and we're gonna do it all them day. We can almost do three. All right. Give me some I don't have. That'd be amazing. Jeez. Okay. Hopefully it's not a repeat. Habo. Okay. Come on. Do not give me circles. I will stab some if I get circles. Give me some new. Give me some new. Or. Oh boy. This isn't looking good. Oh no. That's not great! What the hell is that thing? Uh, after damaging opponent, element skill. I don't care. I. Damn it. Like, really? Wow. Okay, um. Hold on. Before I go jumping into another wish, I am going to try to get another one. Right? Is that enough? 420 token! Alright. <laughs> That's enough, right? 17. So I need two more. 
So, where is my shop again? Uh, over here. I don't know how to navigate around this damn map. Why does he map? Okay, uh, so. Wouldn't buy you. We'll buy them all. Why the hell not? I mean, we don't really buy anything else in here, so, you know, why the hell not? Okay, we can definitely make another wish now. But I think I. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, 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 fine, fine, we'll do it. I don't like rolling constantly in a row, but. I want a damn character! That's bullshit! I want a wish, not a freaking weapon! Oh, oh, they do! They do! But I'm not really excited because I don't need a Claymore user. Or a Lightning user. I'm really happy, but oh well. We got a character! It's not a repeat, so I'm not really just like, ah, oh, It's whatever. We got her. It's fine. And the cool looking weapon? Well, oh well. We got a new character. Yay. I'll look at the weapons later. I really wish we could do more. Hmm. Fuck okay. it. I'll do a wish. Give me a weapon. I need weapons anyway. Dude, we could just skip it. Whatever. Um. Yeah. I mean, hard me says don't do single rolls. And the second says. No, no. Yeah? No. I mean, we're already here. We might as well keep doing it. Okay, and the last one. Oh, you put him a change color. Uh -huh. Okay, we're done with witches for now. We got a new character. I hate these gotchas. They want me. To, they want me. They want me to do so much more. I want more. Uh, we're going this direction, right? I mean, we can level Baidu up for her wishes. But aside from that, I don't know. Beidou, Beidou's Kaiju's character. She's hers. I already have my Claymore user, which is Razor. But still, I need I need less Claymore users. That'd be awesome. So, it's outside the box thinking that we're looking for, right? Huta always seems to have a unique perspective. So let's make this our first stop. What, what, what? My ears are burning. Did somebody say my name? What? What the hell? I'm not reading all that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Paimon and the Traveler. Oh, and Shengling, too. Oh, uh, we come to hang out? Oh, of course, Hu Tao. Way, way outside the box. Meaning, you're here for some other reason, right? How might I be of assistance? Uh, well, Hu Tao, I wanted to ask you, what kind of food do you like? What food I like? Hmm... Off the top of my head, I don't really have an answer. Right? It's hard to answer. Wow. So even Hu Tao gets lost for words sometimes. Paimon sure didn't see that coming. Come on, even the chirpiest birds clock out for the night, right? Don't say chirpiest birds. I'm no different. Uh, pretty sure clocking out isn't something birds do, but it's okay. <laughs> right. There's no hmm? need to overcomplicate it. Oh, there's a Just freaking... pick a dish and tell me what you like about it. <laughs> I didn't know it was a freaking... Some market research. I don't know what that is. Is it a panda? I see, I see. A red panda? Launching mm. a new dish? A bear? Well, let me say right off the bat, nothing weird. Okay, some poached fish, a side of shrimp dumplings. That is all you need. Mm, poached mm. fish and shrimp dumplings. That's a bit ordinary, isn't it? Spice it up, girl. Well, it is and it isn't. Think about it. Poached fish is hot and spicy with a powerful aroma. Oh, it's no. a dynamic dish. Stop. Add a side of shrimp dumplings, and there's your static component. Got it? I'm salivating. Dynamic? Mm. Oh, I can do dynamic. Mushroom slimes do it. No, 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 not that kind of dynamic. <laughs> a dish is more than substance, it's a mood. Poached fish is red and spicy. It elicits a response from the eyes, ears, nose, and mouth. Oh my god. That's why I call it dynamic. This episode was a big mistake. I haven't eaten yet. Shrimp dumplings are more subdued, clear and smooth with a pure and subtle fragrance. I call that static. Combining dynamic and static is how you create a perfectly balanced meal. A union between opposite but complementary features coexisting in perfect harmony. How are people word so good? Uh, 
<laughs> I meant didn't follow that at all. But at the same time, it kind of sounded smart, so... Right? Okay. Dynamic and static. Opposite, but complementary. Um, so is this just another way of saying you should keep everything balanced? You know, a little meat, a little veggie, a little salt, a little sugar? Bingo! Except I don't think you need to have a sweet dish for it to be a complete meal. Personally, I always skip dessert. <laughs> okay, Wait, what? I think I got Monster. it. Monster. At first, I thought you were just goofing around, but actually, you make a really good point. <laughs> How did I ever doubt you, Hu Tao? Thanks. When it comes to telling tales, the storytellers have got nothing on Hu Tao. Hmm? Sounds suspiciously like a compliment to me. I'll take it. Okay. Well, you're welcome. Uh huh. Well, at least one of you gets it. Everything in this world runs on its own set of principles. Be it the circle of life I've been or to that. sugar. Yeah, I've been spice. over there. You either get it or you don't. Well, I don't get it. Since the traveler seems to approve, I'll make sure to factor it in. I didn't second that. Hmm. I think things are pretty much done here now. Let's head to Boo Boo Pharmacy next. Boo Boo Pharmacy? Yeah, you'll definitely get some interesting responses over there. <laughs> What was with that giggle? What do you know, woman? What you're not telling us? The bubble bum of the. That's way up there. And we have the fastest way up there. We have a supply, because walking's a pain. It really is. This. This might have been a mistake. I might die from starvation by the end of this episode. Because, boy, I need some food in my blur. What? There's no food in the fridge. So that's a problem. It's fine. I'll just eat at work. Okay, a little closer. This place is really beautiful. I like the setups. I like the moon. Up to more festive events. That's cute. Like more. I will they do a Christmas event? I mean, I know they didn't last year, but wait, did they? I don't know. I guess for this game, if this is its anniversary, no? Yeah. Huh. I don't know. I I mean, I want to say there was a Christmas event, but I don't know. I don't know when this game's done yet. Sup, Chi Chichi? How's that Chi Chi? That's a Q, oh, not a C H. It's you. Is everything okay? Yeah. Why? If it isn't the special guests who seldom visit, less busy than usual, I see. Hello, Sassy Sneak. Yikes! What happened to Baiju's voice? Again, my mom. Excuse me, the neck. <laughs> oh, it's just Changsheng. <laughs> welcome, Is that chocolate? Welcome. Here to procure an herbal remedy, I presume. Oh, it's one of those um counters, I think. I thought that was chocolate on the table. No, no. We actually came for the conversation this time. We're here to talk food. Oh no. I'm entering this year's cooking competition, so I wanted to ask you both. Oh, wait. There's three of you. <laughs> I wanted to ask the three of you what kind of food you like. <laughs> Most astutely self-corrected, we shall surely supply our assistance. Oh, look at you. Are you like a Cinderella snake? That'd be adorable. <laughs> you need to know what food I like? Hmm. Coconut milk. It's all the same. No flavor. Oh, right. She's a zombie. Chi-Chi has some gustatory dysfunction and can't taste any food. Make no mistake, she's not being uncooperative. Oh, I understand. That's fine. Still, I'd expect Chi-Chi to have some sort of dietary preferences, though. Mm. There must be some dishes that you like the sensation of. Brains. Sensation? Hmm. Yes. There's one. Coconut milk. Nice and cold. Well, that doesn't help <laughs> us. It's not a dish, it's a drink. How about you two? They're gonna be, this is gonna be drinks. I like bite-sized morsels of meat. <laughs> I agree with Changsheng. Aw. Many of our patients are the elderly and young children. They find large chunks of fowl or seafood difficult to swallow and digest. Dishes where the ingredients have been finely chopped, on the other hand, are far more suitable for them. So, like, some like a minced steak? 
We also see plenty of people with colds and sore throats who find it difficult to eat rich food. From a purely pharmaceutical perspective, I tend to recommend soups and stews. Got it! Uh, would that be medicinal soups and stews? Ugh, medicinal <laughs> soup. I don't like it. Hmm, I must apologize for having such a one-track mind. It's a little difficult to think about food without worrying about the health implications these days. We've had quite the endless stream of patients recently. If you ask me, I think the changing weather is to blame. Yeah, blame the weather. Freaking economy. Wait, they use the right words? Uh... That's okay. Everyone's input counts. Keeping it seasonal and suitable for all ages sounds like a pretty good idea to Paimon. That's too much work for me. You guys do it. Medicinal dishes have higher demands in terms of nutritional balance than the kind of food I normally cook. I don't usually focus on medicinal properties, but since this is for a competition, maybe I can score more points by taking both flavor and function into account. I mean, that's- I love your hairpins, like little swords. Food with substance. Always better. Everyone will like it. That's a great suggestion. So Thanks, much everyone. energy. Quickly. Chi Chi, damn it. You're welcome. As long as we could help. You sound so tired. It's great to have a doctor's unique perspective. Could you? I'm feeling it. Your thing on the leash? Oh, how you flatter me. Just running around in the background all the time. Receptivity to sensible suggestions make for a savvy chef. I love that little snake. Oh, She's so geez. cute. Creating new dishes is Xiangling's favorite thing to do. You can be sure she'll put lots of care and attention into Oh, yeah. It. She's a fucking cooking freak. <laughs> Everyone's got their hobbies, and mine is cooking. Usually, I just go with my own ideas, but having a whole new perspective this time is sure to make a big difference to the end result. Great! That makes this whole trip worth it. So, is that it? All right, time to move on to the next. Damn it. So we've got an independent thinker's perspective and a health perspective. Hmm. Next, Paimon thinks we should probably talk to some picky eaters. Can we just call it good at two people? Yeah. Fine. Who's a picky jerk? Uh, let's see. Map says I need to go to the... Oh. Okay. Well, I'm not going to walk there. We're doing the usual. We'll freaking hang like that. Oh! Um. 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 Damn it. Uh, shit. I just realized I got something, but I want to switch characters. We need to be switching characters anyway. So, let's see. Let's pick up the lead with, you know, our girl Sayu, who's finally so level 57. Sweet. She finally leveled up. It took a while, but she got there. Mm -hmm. I guess Razor could be the We're backup. I always want Sir Gross, and you can be in the back. Cool. Oh, wait, right, we're gonna freaking teleport. And I was gonna do this. Yes. Wait. What? Oh, it's down here. There we go. Yeah, we got this in the anniversary. Awesome. I mean, they're, they're cute to me. I like them. They're not bad. I like these. How do I get these? Reward for reaching the reputation level in Azuma. Of course. Of course. Wait, I have these? Oh, these are these are the PS4 ones, right? Jerks. Wait, so if I put these on on PlayStation, then I log back on the computer, would I still have them on? All right, enough freaking digging around. I just want to show those wings and teleport to the top of the map. My goodness, my brain span is getting smaller. No, here. Easy. It's like a it's like a bird pea brain going up in here. I keep forgetting what I'm about to do. The next. Okay, it's raining all of a sudden. Maybe it'll be like a little sound effect as they went through the wind, like a... Not a harmonica, but wind chimes, maybe? I don't know. Like some kind of whistling tune. And... I don't trust it. I'll be over here. Woo! Splash! Love it when the weather... <laughs> just makes you wanna... Don't fall asleep in the water, honey. You'll drown. Okay, that was fun. Man, nice cute plunk. So, do you take damage if you attack down? Yeah, see, I would have died if I mm -hmm. fell. The screen oh, faded. It's the traveler in Paimon and Shangling. Keep your freaking raccoon on a leash. <laughs> uh, greetings, friends. It's been a while. 
Hey, what brings you here? Sup? You're my party now. I might use you, but no promises. Has something happened? What's with this great big stone on the ground? Can I have that thing in the middle? I need it for stuff. Long story. So, just to confirm, I will assume responsibility for handling this stone of unknown origin. Any objections? None here. You know how to get things done, Kuching. As long as it's with you, I can rest easy knowing that it's in safe hands. How is it? Mm, should I take this to mean that you doubt the relative safety of leaving this in the hands of the Tianchuan? Huh? Well, for starters, Keqing is the one who's always out running errands, rain or shine. Besides, you don't seem to give a wooden more about this whole thing anyway, so what's it to you? God damn, your frickin' boobs. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was merely joking. You, meanwhile, seem only too ready to pounce when an opportunity to publicly lambaste me arises. Oh, I'm ready to pounce. Even when it means giving our poor mutual friend here the cold shoulder. Oh, is that a bad thing? By no means. You wish to know about the stone, I presume? No. Then let me invite the great seafarer, Captain Beto, to tell the story. If she would be so kind. <sighs> you... <sighs> Fine. Well, it's a big one, right? <laughs> Such a smooth surface, too. Makes you think there's got to be a good chunk of jade in there. It was found by a fishing crew, not far off the coast. It must have been underwater for years. So the erosion will be what's given it that smooth finish. Finds like this cannot be kept as private property, and must be submitted to a holder of public office. Why? Placing it into our custody will also give them peace of mind. So, what's inside it? Well, we've hit it with just about every weapon we could get our hands on and haven't managed to even dent it yet. Clearly there's more to it than meets the eye. Let me take a whack at it. No weapon could smash it open. Wow. Hyman doesn't think we've ever encountered a stone like that before. Kuching has taken an unusually keen interest in this giant stone, which is why we are leaving the matter in her capable hands. Did you try rolling off a mountain? Let's put that aside for a second. Traveler, what brings you here? Were you looking for someone? Oh yeah, Actually, taste stuff. Actually, we were yeah. looking for all of you. We need all hands on deck here. Oh? Hopefully not because there's been some sort of cataclysmic event. Why is he just running around? It's like he's trying to be in every scene I progress to. Let me, let me try some. No, no, nothing like that. Paimon's just getting carried away. I just wanted to ask everyone about their food preferences. Food preferences? That's a little unexpected. I thought I was going to run on to the next screen. I guess it's just purely coincidental. I have rather simple tastes. Precise, pure, smart, and sophisticated. That is all I require. How could it this be sophisticated? That's your idea of simple, huh? I summed up my culinary requirements in four words. Is that insufficiently simple for you? Oh, no. A few weeks out on the open ocean would fix your flawed definition of simplicity. Let me tell you that. <laughs> what about you, Beto? Me? Uh... If it's freshly cooked and piping hot, that floats my boat. If it's got a little chili pepper in there, too, I'm one very happy captain. Oh, I'll fucking pepper your dish up, baby. I didn't thought you would have said bar food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bar food works, too. I mean, she's a drinker, right? As for me, it's got to be seafood. Mmm, love seafood. Oh, my gosh. This is a bad episode. I'm going to be starving the whole damn thing. Okay, got it. So, seafood. Piping hot and uh, a simple but sophisticated. Not a lot of that's where I would disagree. Traveler, surely you've heard of golden shrimp balls. <laughs> no, I haven't actually. Oh my, they're my favorite <laughs> reaction. You need to wash and devein the shrimp, wrap it in finely sliced potatoes. Shut up, you're not helping. It to perfection. There's no room for cutty corners. Oh my god, my mouth. They're very precisely put together. They taste pure. The presentation is smart. And the skill needed to cook them is highly sophisticated. It fits Ningguang's forward summary to the letter. Huh. My goodness. So what you're saying is, for all the thrills and trills, good food is all the same at the core? I heartily agree. Golden shrimp balls are a prime example. Their essence lies in combining art and nutrition in a single package. 
It is a dish of true value. My goodness, I, I don't know how much longer we can take this food talk. Okay, got it. So Kuching loves golden shrimp balls. Uh, I didn't say that. Did I? Kind of. <laughs> no, at least not outright. <laughs> Alrighty. Thanks for all your input. Get I'm out sure of the shot. <laughs> Traveler, Paimon, do you have anything planned after this? Yeah, actually, I need to do a house thing, Good. so... I'd like you to help me investigate something. It's about this stone. Or I could help you with the stone. You picked the right people for the job. We investigate stuff all the time. My thoughts exactly. The Chising has a public duty to deliver our final verdict to the fishermen. But there are also some things I would like to investigate on a personal level. I'm sure you've become acquainted with the general background of the Moonchase Festival. However... I have my own understanding of this festival's roots. Oh? My grandfather was a researcher of Liyue's traditions. In his notes, he indicated that there was a deity called the Stove God in ancient Liyue, which people paid tribute to at a certain time of the year. Very few written records make mention of the Stove God, and those that do are notoriously confusing. Some scholars believe that the Stove God was just another title held by the Lord of Geo, but others suggest that this was a different deity altogether. So it was like the... Freaking fire god? Is that what you're getting at? One folktale even claims that the ancients found the stove god's shrine, but there was no statue. Only a huge, smooth slab of stone. Hmm. Shortly after it was found, the stone was lost in transit. And it hasn't been seen since. This stone here has all the same features, so I suspect it could be the one that went missing all those years ago. After many years of researching ancient texts, my grandfather came to believe that the practice of paying seasonal tribute to the Stove God may be best described as a festival. He called it the Stove God Festival. That would make it the forerunner to the Moon Chase Festival we know today. Oh, okay. But this is all just theory and conjecture. To prove any of it, we'd need to start by identifying who the Stove God really was. Now that Rex Lapis has passed on, and Liwa <clears throat> has entered the age of humankind, yes. His successor should continue to respect our nation's culture and traditions, just as he did. That's why I think the responsibility for this situation should fall to me. It's a chance to shed light on our history, revitalize an ancient tradition, and possibly prove my grandfather's hypothesis along the way. With any luck, we'll nail all three in one fell swoop. This is a lot for my brain to compact. Can you go a little slower or dumb it down for me, please? It was just a couple of days ago that we received this stone. Right after, we decided to use food as the central theme for this year's festival. It makes me wonder. Maybe a divine will is at work behind all of this. Three birds with one stone, huh? That's pretty efficient, even for cooking. I love to help. What? Hey, don't worry about that. This sounds super important, so don't mind me. <laughs> Besides, we're only... <laughs> Wait a second. I got it! Got what? what? Why are you shouting? Kaching, can I tag along for your investigation? Uh huh. Uh, but since it's all about the stove god, I might get to learn something useful about cooking along the way. It'll be great inspiration for me in the competition. Please, let me come along. I promise I'll help. Just let her come along. If it means that much to you. Okay. Really? You're the best! <clears throat> now that that's <laughs> settled, time to get going. Jingsa Village is said to be home to a lot of historical texts, so I'd like to start by making some inquiries there. That panda's trying way too hard to get attention. Alright, then it's off to Jingsa we go! On to Jingsa, I guess, wherever the hell that is. <clears throat> ah, yes. This is a nice rock. I like this rock. It is very sturdy. I'm keeping this rock. Okay, where are you going again? She oh, they're little lanterns? I thought they're like little drums. Oh, that's even, that's even cuter. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. So... Where is Chingsue Village? Oh. Usually it marks it. Where... Where's the village? Oh. Uh-oh. Um... Um, help? Wait. Can I not do it? The characters are currently involved in a quest. Of course they are. Of course they... Which quest? 
Um, where? Oh wait, is it one of these? No. Um, the Chi of Yori. Where is that? The Chi of Yori. Right here. Well, I guess we'll put a fork in that one. Actually, give me give me a second. I want to see if this is like sort or not. Just stayed in bed today. Probably missed something. Oh no! Cool. Now it tells us. Thanks. Thank thank you so much. Is it gonna? Hi, Granny. We need your help with something. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we couldn't continue that last quest because you had to tell me some stupid thing about a G. Okay, whatever. Are there any old books around Chingzu Village? You know, from a really long time ago? Like they didn't make us finish the stupid quest I got so upset about. Oh, looking for ancient texts, are we? Hmm, let me think. There is an old warehouse over there, property of the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Many books are stored inside. Those that they have no room for at home. In fact, their youngest comes over this way to read sometimes. The Feiyun Commerce Guild's youngest? You must be talking about Xingxiu. Hyman didn't know they had a warehouse here. Let's go take a look! Like, I'm so upset. Like, we couldn't finish that quest. We, we couldn't finish our quest because Green over here had to tell us about some side quest I didn't even care for. And we even get to finish the thing because it pushed us right back into the main quest. Like, Genshin, log your stuff or something. Like, that's really annoying. I'm being an asshole, but seriously, like, be like, hey, this character will only show up if you start this quest, not, oh, start this quest, then, oh, they're in the middle of another quest you didn't even know existed. Like, what? Bro. Uh, uh-oh. Uh, what was I doing? Surely I should uh, be still a girl's spring. No, not that. Uh, this one. There. A thousand meters. About to freaking glide over there. No, I can. I can. It's not that bad. Not that. I thought it was a lot further, but it's not. That's on me. Also, there's obviously gonna be a lot of cuts in this episode because a lot went wrong. I'm sorry. Misguiding quest and, and stuff. We're almost there. Blip. I don't think we'll have enough time to. I'm being robbed. Ugh. I don't think we'll have enough time to. Came from that direction. Come on. I don't think we'll have enough time to do the uh, house quest today, unfortunately. Sorry. I tried, but. You bitch. You wanna try that again? Bring the freaking wolves out. Ah, Woo, bitch. You're next. Yeah, you definitely messed up. And you're just gonna stand and watch. My goodness, look, you just, you just stood there and did nothing. You watched your friends get massacred and did nothing. Wow. Is that it? That wasn't so bad. I've come here to clean the book warehouse plenty of times before, but this is the first time I've run into these crooks. Are you all right? I am, thanks to all of you. Hey, wait a minute. You're the traveler, aren't you? Uh-huh. And you're with... Uh, Lady Kutring. An honor. Truly an honor. We'll try not to take up too much of your time. I understand that this book warehouse is the property of the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Could you advise whether we might find any text relating to the stove god in this collection? Um, sto oh, all right, stove, stove god. god? Uh, I, I heard that's the Lord of Geo, right? Huh? Really? Yeah. A friend of mine who conducts research mentioned it once before. We use stoves for cooking, and stoves are built from rock. Some people think that the stove is a gift from the Lord of Geo. And that's why they call him the Stove God. Hmm. Seems logical enough. Right? But do you have any books on the topic? Um, I, uh... I I'm sorry. I'd have to ask the young master about that. Oh, any questions? Would you Please, stop following me? ask away. Hey, it's Chung Yun and Xin Chou. I don't know the second guy. Hello, one and all. I'm not reading that. Hey guys, what are you <laughs> doing here? What's this new freaking brief character intro thing is doing? I was bored with nothing to do, and thought I'd come out this way for a bit of reading. And then huh. I thought, why not bring Chung Yun along too? <laughs> yes, 
I'm just along for the ride, really. Seriously, what's that panda thing? Why is he always in the camera shot? I see the Yuhang Kuching is with you. Hmm. Whatever brings you here must surely be a matter of grave importance. Master Xingqiu, if I may be so bold, do you happen to know if there are any texts on the subject of the stove god among this collection? Since I personally selected which volumes to store here, I do have some recollection of their contents. Oh, if my good. memory betrays me not, there is one volume among them called Demystifying the Legends of Liyue, which mentions the stove god. Might I take a look? Certainly. If it pleases my lady, I shall lead the way. Sheng, I will take care of things here. You're free to go about your own business. This is going down a rabbit hole. Jeez. Did you find it? Um, hello? Yes. <laughs> Master Xingqiu has quite an exceptional memory. Demystifying the Legends of Liu it does indeed mention the Stove God. However, it says the following. <clears throat> The body of the dragon wielded a tail that could eclipse the sun, and claws to command fire and teach the ways of wisdom. Receiving the gift bequeathed unto them, humankind cooked food with fire, and thus did they prosper. The body of a dragon? The stories about Rex Lapis say the same thing. That much is true, but this is the only passage in the whole book. If we want to find out more, we'll have to continue our investigation. Ugh. Come on, There's I just want to eat. There's to discover here. It seems we'll have to look at other options. I come from a long lineage of exorcists, and our family too has amassed a number of ancient texts. Now that you mention the stove god, I seem to recall reading somewhere that this god once appeared at the Guili Assembly. Of course, I can't say if it's true or not. Books are penned by people. All they can do is show what the author was thinking. Everyone's mind is different, so every book on a given topic will give a different account. That's how books work. I apologize that we could not help in a more substantial capacity. <laughs> Your help thus far is quite ample. Liyue is a vast oh and God. rich land. All <laughs> things that existed here in the past have left their trace. So long as we do not abandon our search, it is sure to bear fruit eventually. Thank you all. We will continue our investigation elsewhere. Uh, hold up! I had a question too. Xinchou, Chongyun, could you tell me what oh, kind no. of food you like? Food? Oh no. You, you're not thinking of taking part in the masterful chefs, are you? <laughs> That's rude. Uh, yeah, I totally am. What's wrong? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Shangling, this is a major event. I beg you, please don't cook anything strange for this competition. <laughs> what do you mean, strange? <laughs> Mushroom slime stew, to give one example. Okay, fair enough. That dish isn't my most popular. But that's why I'm doing all this research, so I can create some really special dishes to win everyone over. Well, in that case, I like cold food. That makes sense. That's because you can't handle hot and spicy, right? <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right. My taste is on the mild boy? side. I prefer gentle dishes with minimal seasoning. Soups and stews, vegetables and broth, seafood or freshwater fish, either boiled or steamed. These kinds of dishes I am most partial to. No surprises from the Gugu Agik. Gugu Agik, what? Okay, another mild child. Got it. Mild child? These are just personal preferences, and everyone's are quite different. Are you sure this eclectic mix of opinions will be of any use? You're not going to mix it all into one dish, are you? You're my customers, and putting a smile on customers' faces is my calling as a chef. Though Xiangling's market research blade stabs often into the dark, her heart never strays from the noble path. If anyone can win the hearts and minds with their cooking, it's gotta be someone like Xiangling. She's got pure intentions and really cares about the customers. No, Aww. where's all this praise coming from? Knock it off, guys. You're embarrassing me. Uh, sorry for holding you all up. That's all I needed to know. Shall we carry on with the investigation now? Over to you, Kuching. Where to next? Hmm. So we've learned the stove god allegedly made an appearance at the Guili Assembly. But today that place is largely a wasteland with few traces of human activity. Long Shuen is close by, so let's stop off there on the way over and see what we can find out. Forgive us, for this is where we must part ways. May your journey be a smooth one. Yes, best of luck. 
If you run into any difficulties, come and find us. We'll be only too glad to help. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get on that. Thanks. Next. Oops. I guess we're going to wish you win. But we'll do that next time because we obviously hit a wall in our time limit. I'm sorry. I didn't think Genshin would still do that. We're like, oh, you can't finish this quest because they're in a different quest you didn't even know about. But before we leave... Let's try one more. Show me a girl! Come on! Oh! 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 No! No! Oh. Oh, you're- wait, that's four. Did we get more than one character? Bro, did we just get more than one character? Don't we got a golden weapon. That was four, right? Did I miscount? Was that five? Oh my god! <laughs> we fucking got her! Dude! Hell yeah, we fucking got Koyomi! Oh my god, we got three characters today. That's a good place to end it. Okay, guys. Oh, that's a lot of leveling we gotta do. Holy shit. Okay, I will catch you guys in the next episode. But we will be continuing um, the rest of the Stove God quest and hopefully the house quest. But until then, I will catch you guys in the next episode. If this is Zero, signing out.